free energy flows from high state to low state. Energy is high, length is tall. Oops. Calcium 21, scandium, this is 21, 22, titanium. <laughs> Is rich, energy is high, area is wide. But anyway, that's uh, the general uh, the expression in English. Anyway, electron is like a money, we said, right? So, electron movement, energy is from the high to low, temperature is also from the high to low, usually. Electron, if it's rich and poor, we can think from rich area to poor area. It's a natural direction. That side is has electron with the drain group, leaving group. So that side it should be electron poor part, right? And electron rich nucleophile is an approach and attack. And that position is a carbon center, not tetraton, not proton. That's the electron poor side.
electrons that electron on hydroxide that's not aromatic electron that is not sigma electron sigma electron is a connected and eh, there is no sigma electron there right? sigma electron is uh, the bond formed between atom and atom OH sigma electron may be O and H that's a sigma electron that is not participating in the, in the reaction that participating one was lone pair electrons of OH right? and it was not pi electron it was a lone pair electron that is the, the character of the nuclear relations and nuclear types reaction is also substitution it was a change in H and E plus was a change in right? and that's not addition that's not elimination and that's not differentiation reaction site may be this one this reaction site because this is a change Site is electron rich in contrast to nuclear free addition. Okay, there's a big difference here, you see. It's a pi electron, isn't it? It's a pi electron on of the benzene ring. It's a participating in making new bond, right? Okay, based on this, let's move on. Okay, the, the coin, you know, I'm not going to coin you look at him in a day. Jenny Summers of and Summon John Dutta of Papa's of the Tecumandra of the Soap Sugar Name, the Roman Dissara, the Jin Singh and Jokumana, Sidon, the other day, from Jenny Room. If the John John Jimmer Lavana, John Tabula, and the other Mandras of Jerry, you could have been there. You the Mandras, right? If I go more with the Wapen, the Mandra, the Susan, the Eastern Chief, and Changi. Today we are still we are on week three. 
It's still early, but as you can see here, it's coming, the first exam is coming very soon. So, you never stop. Okay, today we are going to continue the reaction of benzene. But that benzene is not just a simple benzene, that benzene is sub-series benzene. Okay, earlier and earlier. So today I just tried to compare nucleophilic addition and electrophilic addition. Nucleophilic addition case, nucleophile is here. Nucleophile is electron rich. Reaction site is here. That reaction site is an electron poor site. And replacement or substitution happened at this position. That's why this is reaction center. And nucleophile electron the living group, both of them are electron rich. And approaching one is a nucleophile to the center. That's why this reaction we call nucleophilic substitution. Reaction is induced by nucleophile. That's why nucleophilic substitution. With the benzene, now this is reaction site because proton and this E is exchanged. That's exchange, that's why substitution. Okay. And this E is electron poor. And this reaction site is electron rich because it has extra five electrons. This five electron is donating and that's participating and making new bond. Right? Here, nucleophile like electron is coming from five electrons. That is a donated to this guy. And reaction center approaching partner is electrophile. That's a different from nuclear nucleophilic addition, right? That's why we call this reaction as electrophilic substitution. To give a little, a little further information, aromatic ring is involved here. If it is just a simple, simple alkene, that's just the, the electrophilic addition. But this is aromatic, so we call electrophilic aromatic substitution. But simply you can say nucleophilic addition and electrophilic addition. Okay, that's a different character. So based on this, we, uh, the, we studied about these different reactions last time. Let's quickly summarize those conditions. Halogenation, what do you need? Halogen, uh, the molecule, Cl2, and catalyst, Lewis acid. Lewis acid, aluminum chloride, ferric chloride, and the Lewis acid condition, right? To disturb the, the, the halogen halogen bond. That was halogenation. Nitration. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid together. Right? Sulfuric acid was a dehydrating reagent, and then it removed one water from nitric acid. It forms nitronium, uh, the, the cation as intermediate. And sulfonation, sulfuric acid and SO3. If I give you that condition, maybe you can catch which product you may see, but that's maybe too easy. So in the exam, I may ask you to make this. What reagent do you need? You don't need to know the specific the Lewis acid, but at least Lewis acid, that much I want to see. Ferric chloride, aluminum chloride, it doesn't matter too much. That's a too much details, but at least acidic condition is important. Right? Now, these two conditions, hydroxylation, you add the oxygen. Then you get the hydroxyl. There are just some reactions you see. Alkylation, acylation. Both of them, you use the alkyl halide, acyl halide, with base catalyst or acid catalyst. It's an acid catalyst. Okay. Nucleophilic additions, usually you need to use basic environment. Nucleophile itself is sometimes a base, sometimes a nucleophile. That's usually basic environment. But electro, the electrophilic, the substitution, usually the condition is acidic condition. Electron donating partner is aromatic ring, benzene ring. Okay, that was the, the basic thing we learned uh, the last class. Now today we are going to study a little further. Not only simple benzene, if it has some motif like this, then how does it affect the reactions? Okay, that's the topic today we are going to study. In this case, with this condition, what product do you expect?
やっぱマシャリアを歌ってまだ。それは、オプラドとデューステル。そして、コンディションのアジャスメント、ポスト、パルパルヘバイジンだ、クリアトチャンダ、アンプリセシオマノシナチトロディントロジャン。This product can expect this nitration, right? NO2 you expect. Now, this reaction compared to benzene, there are several things we can consider. Now, this is why group. If this is electron donating group, electron withdrawing group, electron donating group, usually the other, the right like this way, EWG, electron withdrawing group, electron donating group. If you, elect, if you donate electron to the, the benzene, what do you expect? The reaction speed is faster or slower? This reaction is electron donating partner is benzene, right? Now, if there's more electron coming in, then you can think it's more reactive. Makes sense, right? This electron is the donating partner, donating uh, the, the part of electron. More electron, more reactive. Makes sense, right? If, you, if it has electron withdrawing effect, then electron is reduced. The reactivity goes down. Make sense, right? So that effect we can expect. Then we need to know what is electron donating group and what is electron withdrawing group. Now if you look at those reactions, there are those substituents. If you look at these groups, these are all electron withdrawing groups. This one is electron donating groups. How do you know? By electronegativity. Carbon is a 2.5. Hydrogen 2.1 or 2. All other heteroatoms at least are more electronegative than carbon. Right? And carbonyl, this is also kind of electron withdrawing effect because of this. Same thing, CN, this is electronegative, drawing this way. Doubly withdrawing. So all of this electron withdrawing effect. This one, only this one. This is a carbon to carbon. It's a little harder to say. But as a whole effect, this is sp2, this is sp3, and the end, re the end result, it has a little electron donating effect. By experience, we say that, but that effect may be small. But anyway, IQ group to the allyl group, this is kind of electron donating group. Then, by looking at this or the other, you can say, maybe all, all of these reactions may be more slow reaction, deactivated reaction. Only this one is activating it, the activating group, you may think. But electron giving and taking with the drawing is not only this way. This is electron giving and undertaking. This happens through this sigma bond. Right? Through this sigma bond. And that's why this effect we call inductive effect. And there's another way to give that electron through pi bond. Sigma bond is through cup the atom to atom. Through this bond, electron is shifted this way or shifted that way by electronegativity. Phi electron is moving more remote space, right? And these long pair electrons around here, let's think about this guy. These long pair electrons can participate in this phi electron system of benzene. Then, this has more electron donating effect. Even halogen or oxygen or nitrogen, they have pi electron wise electron donating effect. Now, if there is any kind of a CO, CN, this bond, if there is a partial inductive effect too with the drawing, but through phi electrons, it has also with the drawing effect there. So two effect works together. That's why the end result is not very simple. Benzene is here. And then, with the OH groups, reaction speed becomes a thousand times faster. That means this OH group is more effectively electron donating group. Right? But through pi bond, sigma bond, this is also slightly inducti inductively withdrawing, but donating through pi electron is stronger.
That's why end result is this is one element. Chloride is a slightly deactivating, but it also has left the pyrotron donating effect. But that donating effect is weaker than NO2. NO2 in both ways, sigma bond with the drawing inductively. Phi bond also with the drawing. So that's why this is very strongly deactivated. Minus 8 is 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000. It's a super slow down. So there's a two effect. This is in the beginning a little confusing, but this is important, uh, the, the parameter, important the character of electron withdrawing and donating effect. Inductively, any of them, heterotomy atoms, they have a Look, the stronger electronegativity, they withdraw those electrons. Only IQ has a small donating effect. Resonance wise, pi electron, then this, all these groups has strong pi donating effect. Strongest one is the amine group. And then oxygen. And then halogen. It sounds a little strange because halogen has a three long pair electron, oxygen has a two long pair electron. Nitro has only one long pair electron. Why this one is stronger? It's only one long pair electron, that's why it's a little more flexible. It's easier to donate. These guys are localized here, that's why it's uh, even difficult. Share a little, but not very much. Okay. Effect wise, this is the strongest, and then oxygen and halogen. And these guys are all electron with the groups. Also, this pi electron donating uh, the effect is not inductive effect, it's a general effect. Reduce that electron density whole all together is coming down. But this pi electron is moving like a wave, right? It's moving like a wave. So it's not evenly distributed. If it is a donating like this, the effect is a stronger. This coming here, then that electron density is localized. Oops. localized here, stronger. And then, this one is a little weak and this is a stronger. And then, next step is moving, this one is a stronger. Withdrawing effect is also, if it's withdrawing, if this is provided, this electron pair is provided here, then this position is deficient. Next position is this, this position. So means, also position or para position, they have a stronger effect by this pi electron donation or withdrawal. Okay, it's not even to the whole benzene. So that makes the, uh, the reaction quite complicated, a little complicated. Now, if you have this kind of a structure with a different Ys, and then make this product, and sometimes they prefer metal position product, sometimes they prefer also a para position product, and some of them is uh, deactivated, and some of them is uh, activated. A little complicated situations. So case by case, let's look at it. As a whole, two combined effect, pi electron effect and sigma electron effect. And all together, usually, if it's the amine group, it's the strongest electron donating effect. Main factor is a pi electron donating. Okay. Resonance effect. And then oxygen. <coughs> And even though it is attached to the acetyl group here, a little electron with the drawing here, but first the contact is the nitrogen. So that's also donating effect. So nitrogen, oxygen, donating. Halogen slightly reduced, slightly deactivated. Any other groups, CO, CN, all other groups are deactivated. Strong electron with the drawing effect. And this one looks like a little of exception. Nitrogen, I mean, is a donating, but if this is a fully isolated, ammonium is the, itself is, it doesn't have the lump electron left, right? That's why this has pure electron with a drawing effect. Other than that, these guys are, if you look at, all C, CO bound or CN bound, kind of a conjugated, the double bound character there, those are with the drawing. Uh, very strongly deactivating, halogenated one slightly deactivating, and oxygen activating, I mean strongly activating. That's a summary.
of these patients. Then let's look at this one. This one, what product do you expect? Reaction-wise, this condition, what product do you expect? Can you Can you ready? Keep on having What product do you expect? Sulfonation, SO3, H, right? Now, next question is which position? This one is electron donating effect. Weak but electron donating effect. That effect is coming from small pi electron effect. So all this position gives the effect of also and para positions. Then the product you may expect also position or para position. Okay. And reaction speed wise, it's a faster or slower compared to benzene. It's a little faster. Okay. Not bad. And this reaction, what product do you expect? Geo. Okay, what product do you expect? Okay, methyl group is maybe added here. So this is alkyl halide with Lewis acid, right? So then alkylation happens. But this is not the only product. With this reaction, you get this product too. And even this product is even higher amount. Why? Okay. She was there. These guys donating the electron. This product is comparing now. Let's just say half reaction is done. Half benzene and half toluene is uh, made. Then if you they compete to each other, this one is more reactive than this one. That's why the reaction does not stop here. It can go further to the next step. The product can be either also position here or para position could be made. Right? Maybe also position one is maybe steric hindrance does not like that product. Maybe para position is bound as more favored the product. Then this reaction is difficult to control. Because your first product is more reactive than your second material. Right? So design-wise, if you design reaction like this, making this product is intrinsically by theory, it's difficult. This is a bad design. Now if you compare this with the acylation, so acyl halide, acyl halide, use the acid, right? Then you expect acid product. Now if you make this product, you don't have this problem because acid group is an electron with a drawing that's a deactivating group. Once this is formed, this product is less active than benzene. The reaction does not go for that. Makes sense, right? So then maybe if you need to have only one alkyl position, then you need to make maybe this kind of a product and then convert this into this, maybe good strategy to make. Okay. How about this? Let's assume that we do nitration by adding nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Then which product is a preferred product you think? CH3? If you look at your textbook, they have this kind of uh, the explanations why this is more preferred. The analysis here <coughs> is by comparing those resonance forms, and it can form more stabilized resonance forms. Maybe this is one way to explain. 
So general concept is electron donating effect intrinsically increases the reactivity. If it's a phi donating, then that effect is a stronger on both position and other position. It, that makes the, the position and speed wise this is a faster. Okay. Practice again with a hydroxyl group. One problem to do is that. Sum up. And speed wise, compared to benzene and compared to methyl benzene. Even faster. OH is even faster than benzene and also the toluene. And position wise, we can expect this one is also, also position and other positions more preferred than better positions. How about this? Chloro. Also, para? Why? Chloro is an electron in the drawing. And deactivating. Chloro is a little complicated. Chloro also gives the product, also and para as a major product, but reaction speed-wise, it has slowed down the reactions, deactivating. So this is a combined effect. Inductive effect is a deactivate, inductive effect by this electronegativity that deactivate the reactivity of benzene. So reaction speed is decreased. But electron donating effect through resonance of the effect is given by these lone electrons. That's why position-wise, it gives also para product, but reaction speed wise, that be, they make the speed slower than benzene. Okay. How about this? Aldehyde, benzaldehyde. What do you think? You mean? Speed, slower position, electron donating effect is more effective to also and para position, right? Electron withdrawing effect is also also and para position, but this effect is making the position more positive, right? Donating make it more negative. So the, the shape of the, the wave movement of a pi electron is the same, we can think. But with the drawing effect, maybe also para position more positive. Then that position, positive position, does not have a high electron density. Then that position cannot react. So relatively, meta position take up, that's a less positive. That's why that's relatively a little more reactive. That's why it make meta position product. That's the knowledge. 다 배웠어요. 조금 복잡해 보이지만 이게 전부예요. 그리고 꽤 재밌는 콤비네이션이 섞여 있으니까 이 시험 문제로 풀고 내고 할게 좀 재밌지 않겠어요? 아닌가? 자, 이 정도가 여러분이 배워야 할 내용의 키 전부예요. 이것만 잘 알고 지금 연습을 해보면 그러면 이 부분을 크게 어렵지 않게 다 파악할 수 있어요. 자, if you look at this product, this compound. It has a nitro group here, it has a CH group here. Okay. CH group is slightly activating. NO2 group is slightly deactivating strongly. But let's forget about the, uh, the kinetics. At least here, the position wise, this CH group, CH3 group, RP group prefers also position and para position, but para is already occupied. There's no option for para. Right? So this direct the position, also position. Nitro group prefers the position as a meta position. Then both of the groups pointing out the same side. Then your product is a single product. If you have this static material and design, whatever the reaction, in this case it's a halogenation, halogen molecule with loose acid. Okay. Then your product maybe this one is the first product. 
Now, if you get this kappa, then do you expect to get another PR here as a cell product or not? PR is activating or deactivating? PR is deactivating, right? Then it may not go further. So this is a single substituted product, maybe you are a major product. Okay? How about this? Okay, to summarize, as a whole, NH2 strongest activating. And the next one is the OH hydroxy or the, the alkoxy. And I keep blue. These guys are otherwise one, two, three. All of them are activating and also color position. Highlight, they are slightly deactivating, but position wise, that's also also para because donating effect is done by pi electron. Deactivating the effect is done by inductive effect, sigma band. Okay? And any of our other electron with the drawing books, those are both inductive and the resonance effect. Both of them are deactivating. And that position is deactivate also para position. That's why relatively it makes the meta position is a little more deactivated. Now let's see here. Hydroxyl here and CH3 group here. Both of them are also para directing. But who is stronger? OH is stronger. Then product may prefer this position. PR is deactivating. This product may not go further. Stop there. So still, still you can get maybe you can expect one product to get. Okay. How about this? CH group also para directing, so also para also. CA group is also also para also. Now position wise, this three position maybe. Electronically, maybe equivalent, but if this is now, next step you can think maybe if it's too crowded, excess of that electrophile coming here may be more difficult than the other position. Then you can get this and this practically. And this one is maybe much less amount. Okay. Now, this is a little more details. Okay. So, it's a quantitatively, sometimes it's a difficult to judge, but if you compare, this one and this one, then maybe this one has maybe steady effect, even though electronically almost the similar conditions. Okay. How about this? Reaction wise, chlorine molecule with fatty chloride with acid, that's a chlorination reaction, right? Where the single chloride will be added here, which position? Or how many product do you expect? Let's think. I can group here. That's also para positioning. Nitro group is deactivating, but that's a meta position. Meta, meta. Interestingly, this position is both of them are directing position. So the product wise you may get both of them. Chlorine is added and two position is almost equivalent. Steric hindrance wise not much different. Maybe this is a little more steric hindrance, but not two of them is blocked, one block. So almost a similar amount you can get like this. How about this? What do you think? Which position or how many products do you expect? Uh, also two CH3 or carboxylate? Okay. Also position, this is also directing, this is the electron withdrawing, that's a meta position, 
that here or here, right? One or two. One bromo, two bromo. Two, why? Now we are comparing this and this for the reactivity, right? We are not talking about this reactivity activating effect, deactivating effect of this guy. So this product is actually making the whole molecule less active than the starting material. Maybe this is stuck here. It doesn't work for that. Okay. So position-wise, one position here. Okay. 자, 이런 문제 가지고 여러 가지를 연습을 해볼 수 있을 텐데 그러면 when you make this kind of molecules, you start to be the this or this you can consider, right? Which you add first, considering the positions. So kind of a problem. 숙제를 줄 테니까 하나씩 풀어보세요. Okay, now, 굉장히 복잡하다고 생각했는데 이게 전부야. 이제 남은 거는 연습하면서 헷갈리는 부분들을 잘 다독거리고 정돈해서 하는 거겠지. If you look at this example, this reaction, now here this is chloride and this is OH, which is attacked here and then replace this chloride. Is this reaction, does this reaction look like electrophilic substitution we have learned so far? If not, what's the difference? In terms of reaction type, substitution, addition, elimination, which type is this? Substitution. This is replaced by this. But this is, looks like this is not proton. This looks like a living group from nucleophilic reaction. Then this reaction, can you say this reaction is SN1 or SN2? Looks like this one is electro-rich species. Opposite to electrophilic substitution. Electrophilic substitution, we use the electrophile. And benzene ring acts like a nucleophile. It donates electron, right? And in acidic condition. But now, here, we are in a situation that seems like this is nucleophile. And this is like a living group. Similar reactions here. Now here, fluoride is attacked by this nitrogen and exchanged here. Similar, similar issues. Looks like a nucleophile, looks like a living group. And if you think about the mechanism, if it, if it should be SN1 reaction, we need to think about the carbocation intermediate. Aryl carbocation is not stable. In the last class, we discussed a little about that. Aryl cation is not stable, so this cation hypothesis is a bad hypothesis. SN2 reaction, SN2 should happen concerted manner, means nucleophile coming in, living group leaves at the same time, right? Then nucleophile's position should be electron movement wise, nucleophile should come behind the living group. And this electron long pair is making new bond here, and then this bond is living with the living group. That's SN2. That reaction is also very difficult to happen because of this strong static hindrance by high electrons. High electron is making like the woods, and it blocks the entry of this nuclear from behind. So none of them is a proper mechanism for this. And if you look at that reaction again carefully, it always has electron withdrawal group nearby. And then the reaction of the mechanism is this nucleophile is added first and forming this kind of anionic intermediate. And then this anionic group is pushing out this chloride back. So this is different mechanism from electrophilic substitutions. Electrophilic substitution, benzene sulfide electron is a donate that new bond forming electron. And then that one recovered by losing proton. 
In this case, similar to nucleophilic addition, but intermediate is not reaction center is not the cationic, the electron poor status. This one is electron rich status is formed. Added and removed. This reaction is called as a nucleophilic aromatic substitution or addition elimination reaction. Nucleophile is added and then this group is removed, eliminated. Addition elimination or the nucleophilic aromatic substitution. That's the mechanism of this reaction. Looks very similar with the other electrophilic additions, but the mechanism is quite different. And the position wise, the position wise, this electron with the direct group, when they have also position and para position, that effect on this reaction is stronger than meta positions. It's the same reason of a five electron donation. Okay. When we have the five electron donating group, also position para position is more important. So that's why if you make this kind of reactions, meta nitro group does not help much for these reactions. Always also a para position electron with the drain group that helps the first addition of this nucleophile field. Okay. How about this? This reaction, if you just look at the reaction. Would you say this is an electrophilic substitution or nucleophilic substitution? This is electron with the drain of the group there, and electron rich species here. This is a nucleophile. Electrophilic substitution, this one should be electron poor species. Right? To make that electron poor, you use Lewis acid. Right? So, this is also a kind of a nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Now, there is no electron with the drain group, that's why this reaction may require very high temperature, very high pressure. ATM is one gear, so 170 the ATM, very high pressure and very high temperature. Then this reaction may happen. Maybe reaction is difficult, but if you push very high temperature, high pressure, it may work, you may think. But there's another interesting other observation they found. They do this kind of reaction. This is amine, amine is the base. If you remove one more hydrophilic proton here, then this is NH2 minus. Anybody knows the name of this guy? NH2 is amine. NH3 is amine. NH4 plus is ammonium. H dot is hydrogen. H plus is proton. H minus is something. And what is this name? What is the name of this guy? Ammonium, amine. It's amide. And this amide is much, much stronger base than amine groups. Very strong groups. Very strong other base can be very strong nucleophile too, right? It has extra electrons. And it looks like this one, the product, looks like this is also nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Looks like. Interesting thing is, they observed that it's not a single product. Isotope labeled the reagent they used, labeled here, and interestingly, almost a one to one mixture of this position and this position replaced product is happening. So then we need another explanation. If there is a simple nucleophilic substitution, 100% should happen here. Right? So something else is ongoing. Right? Now the, the, the elucidated mechanism is like this. If there is a base, then they form this base attacks this proton and push out this living group. 
and then they form this kind of a intermediate, triple bond intermediate, so called benzene. In a sense, this is a little similar to SN1 reaction. SN1 reaction, living group leaves first, and it forms a carbocation as an intermediate. Right? This is a nucleophilic aromatic substitution, but this base, strong base, remove this living group first. But intermediate is neutral, but very reactive benzene. This is not aromatic, that's why this group is quite reactive. And then addition reaction happens. That happened here with this reagent, with a very strong base. Amide is a very strong base. That removes the one hydrogen, and then it can form this kind of the intermediate the benzene. It can form this way or it can form this way. It doesn't matter, it's the same. And then if you react with this, then this addition reaction can happen because this is symmetric. Half was here and half was here. If you label further, if you label further here, here and here, okay, if you count those ratio, then it should be two for this position, one for this position, one for this position, right? 25% each. Make sense? Because the, the benzene triple bond forming can happen this way or this way too. Right? So if you label carbon 13, 14, 15, then we can see that different ratios. Make sense? Chemically, this reaction can happen this side or this side, almost equivalent. Okay, so this is another variation of a nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Okay, move on. Now, several minor other reactions, other than the Jordan reaction. So one reaction is, the, if we have this kind of uh, the aromatic ring, and the first position here, this position we call benzylic position. Similar to allylic position, benzylic position is a quite a reactive position. So here, if you add strong oxidizing reagent, usually they clean up everything, and they make this position fully oxidized carboxyl acid. Benzoic acid is formed. It doesn't matter how many carbon is added here, even toluene. If you add this, then it forms benzoic acid. If you have two of them, both of them is oxidized to make two benzoic acid, two carboxyl acid. Benzoic position is very labile to oxidizing reagent. First step may be alcohol, benzyl alcohol, but it can be further oxidized to finish the oxidation to benzoic acid. That happens. Now, if you don't have benzylic position proton, then that reaction does not happen. That means benzylic position, to get this oxidation happens, you need to have a benzylic proton here. Okay. That benzylic proton is oxidized, taken, and then Oxygen is introduced to finish up those reaction by the benzoic acid. Okay. Oxidation happens that way. One another very useful reaction. If you need to introduce the bromo on this benzylic position, this reagent is a very popular reagent, so called the NBS, N bromo succinimide. That reagent gives you a very clean product of a single bromo added product. NBS is N bromo, so that's what you mean. So then NI, NBS, NIS, what product do you get? Okay. This is a bromo. Then you get brominated product. It's an iodide, iodide product on the position. Chloro, then you can get chloride position there. So if I give, if I give you the problem uh, that way, then I will give you the full name of this reagent, or maybe reagent shape like this. This is the n bromo -substinimi. Then here, chloride, you will get chloride product. Iodide, you will get iodide product. Okay. 
So this is very useful reaction. So without much explanation, just your textbook gave up or they gave you this example. Good to know. Okay, now reduction part. Oxidation part, benzylic position is very reliable for the oxidation. If it has any kind of proton on benzylic position, it is cleave all other alkyl group, generate carboxylate. Okay. Reduction. Usually hydrogenation with metal catalyst, especially palladium, then it can reduce only non-aromatic double bond. Aromatic is very stable comparing to this double bond. Then your product is hydrogenated to the, to the double bond, non-aromatic double bonds. Then is it possible to hydrogenate aromatic ring too? Yes. If you use very strong catalysts like a platinum or rhodium, to make it even stronger, this rhodium per carbon, anybody knows what's the meaning of per carbon? To make that the metal is more reactive, to increase that the surface area, you make the powder mix together with the, the carbon powder. Then there is more exposed and more activated. That's charcoal or carbon is drawn this way. Metal powder together is activated by charcoal. Okay. With this kind of reason, the platinum or rhodium, then you think this is stronger uh, the, the catalyst, then even this aromatic ring can be highly hydrogenated to finish up the reactions. So that means if you need to control the reactivity, you use a slightly less active catalyst, like palladium, then you hydrogenate the only non-aromatic double bond. If you want to fully reduce any kind of a double bond, then you use stronger one, platinum or rhodium. I think this is the all we have. I thought that maybe the quite complicated the concept in this other part, but we quickly put the finish. So next class is on Tuesday next week. And assignment I will put up again. The assignment uh, the due is before next class. I told you at the beginning of the class, but anyway, if you make extra problem or if you cannot keep that time point. I will just collect those material just before next class. Okay. After 11, if you submit extra problem or the original problem, then you need to send me by email. Okay. If not, I may miss your submission. Okay, so now we finished this electro aromatic solution here. Next, next week, we move to alcohol and thinners. Okay, that's a different topic, and the next one is a similar one. Thio, this is OH, Thio is SH. So these two chapters we study, and then we take the first exam after here. Okay. Uh, almost over. Thank you guys. Video. Chimunis, man. Chimunis. Chabo.